Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. We're looking at part 45 now? Pretty remarkable. And I was thinking, you know, in order to provide a little bit more of a challenge, it seems like I've been kind of tearing through the game. Why not play as Blue Baby a little bit more? Not so much a specific challenge run, uh, because, you know, I don't have any limitations on my play, except for the fact that I only have three spirit hearts and absolutely no useful space bar item, which is actually a challenge enough in and of itself, I feel, anyway. So I did- well, get out of there! I did manage to beat the game once with Blue Baby, but I did get kind of lucky. I was carrying the Bible at the time. Maybe this time we can have something more of a... I don't want to say legitimate run, because that kind of seems to invalidate the previous run I had. But more of a, a normal or a standard run. I've already lost one third of my health, though. But hey, all stats up. That's a pretty good upgrade to get right off the bat. Maybe everything's coming up Millhouse for Blue Baby this time, but maybe not. Now, Blue Baby, we got to make sure that we save our bombs, because if we come across Tinted Rocks, we absolutely have to use our bombs there. Uh, at least, that's our first priority, let's put it that way. Simply because those bombs may uncover Spirit Hearts. And Spirit Hearts are much, much, much rarer than regular hearts. So every- oh man, this is a tough room. Every run with Blue Baby seems to be kind of like an edge-of-your-seat fucking thrill ride. Hey, there's a Tinted Rock over here. Let's put the bomb there, just in case the secret room is there as well. Hey, two more spirit hearts, that's gonna make things easier. Uh, just because, like, if you take damage as Blue Baby, there's pretty much no way to recover it, unless you're incredibly lucky and you find a lot of spirit hearts, or maybe you have the Nail or the Book of Revelations, but those are relatively rare drops because of how overpowered they are. But hey, maybe we'll get lucky this time, or maybe it'll just be amazing for me, uh, and I won't get hit, although I already have been hit, like, three times. So this guy, I don't really need to go to the shop. One cent is pretty worthless for me, we'll just move on to fight whoever this boss is. Hopefully one of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, so that we can get a little bit more of an arsenal around us. If not, oh well, let's, let's use this chest as well. Could be the secret room right here. Unfortunately not, but hey, bomb and a useless heart in there, so zero sum deal. Ah, oh, we're dealing with Larry Jr. Larry Jr. is not so bad, Oh, except for this one can actually shoot at us. Which could be kind of a pain in the ass, but I still think we'll, we'll be relatively okay. This is my first rodeo, Larry. I've uh, probably killed you upwards of 40 or maybe even more times than there have been videos, just because of the times that he randomly shows up as the boss. Like, definitely every video that contains It Lives has Larry Jr. in it, except for the one where I defeated Larry Jr., or where I defeated Mom's Heart with the Bible. Well, Larry Jr. Looks, looks like it's getting hung up on its own body there. Oh, 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 oh. It's very nearly dead. Hopefully he drops a good item for us. HP up would not be so bad, just because, like, that's basically the equivalent of getting a spirit heart. But, I would prefer something a little bit more passive that lasts a long time. So, for example, like, a damage up would be fantastic. Or a good space bar item. Or, hey, range up. That is... not so good. But it's not so bad, either. I need a range up so I can settle down. If I could settle down, then I would settle down. That's an obscure reference for a Binding of Isaac Let's Play. Any fans of the band Pavement out there? I haven't been using my poop so far. I probably could have used that against Larry Jr. Whoa! Yep, definitely walked in the gish there. I thought I would be able to... to run around it, but it did not work such... as such as I thought, to put it that way. Again, some of the things that I say over the course of this Let's Play, I can't believe I'm an English teacher. I chalk it up to the fact that I'm completely distracted every time that I'm playing. Both distracted, trying to play this game that I remember at one point actually used to be extraordinarily difficult, and distracted trying to provide engaging commentary to the likes of you lot. Shoot our poop. No keys to go to the item room, so we will just continue until we hopefully run into some kind of key. Hmm. Oh, almost got hit there. Ah, almost got hit there too. I bet you think you're a funny fucking guy, don't you, Pride? Stop running towards me. It makes you much, much more difficult to avoid. Our tarot card will be Judgment, which causes bombs to spawn all across the screen, right guys? <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you haven't seen the last video, I made this mistake of thinking that Judgment was the same card as the tower. The tower spawns bombs all across the screen like the anarchist cookbook, where in fact, Judgment instead uh, spawns one of those homeless guys, and we can give him money and potentially get some kind of passive upgrade. So I will take advantage of Judgment. Whether I do it right now remains to be seen. Why can't I shoot? The poop is unshootable. Wow, that was a, that was a low flying poop right there. Um, yeah, so it remains to be seen if I'll use it here. It depends on whether I get enough money and enough keys to go to the shop and potentially buy a much better item. 
So I'm shooting my poop right here because I want to make sure that if there is a key contained therein, I get it back. If I had accidentally swallowed a key during dinner last night, I want to make sure that I recover it uh, and probably go to the hospital because I probably have some deep, deep, deep bowel tearing. So there's the boss as well as the shop. Neither of which are of much use to me right now, but could be in the near future. If a key would fucking drop, come on! So we're definitely going to want to try to find the secret room as well because I am bomb rich right now. Don't see any tinted rocks, but I'm sure people in the comments are already screaming at me about it. And by the way, don't take that as me being a fucking, like, sore loser or anything. I appreciate that, actually. You know, like I said, I'm distracted while I'm playing this game. Sometimes I... I can't see what's going on. Let's take out this champion. Oh! I can't see what's going on as well as you can, let's put it that way. Plus I wear glasses, have mercy! So, I'm this guy right here, the champion drops some more bombs for us. I would give anything to trade my bombs for keys. Now, if I was a tinted room, I would either be here. Tinted room? If I was a secret room, I would either be there. Or, I would be here. Or, I would be here. Better be something worthwhile, considering I used three bombs. Slot machine! I would rather give my money to this guy, to be honest with you. With eight cents, there's a possibility that he will actually give me something useful. Like a key! Or a heart? Come on, man! Oh god, I'm, I'm throwing my last chips at you. Give me something! A key! I gotta use the slot machine to get it, though. Maybe this will drop a bill for me. Or nothing at all. Let's see if I can blow up both of these guys in one fell swoop. Well, I got one of them, and he gave me another bomb. I'll blow up the other one and hopefully get some money back, or maybe a key. Hey, some money, a bomb, and a key. Everything turned out, well, a little bit worse than expected. But better than it could have gone, at the very least. So we'll go collect our item here, which could be fucking anything at this point. Again, more poop that I can't even shoot. I've been eating too much fiber. Hey, Book of Belial, that's actually a really useful item to get here. Much more useful than the poops. This is going to allow us to do a lot more damage during our boss fights and other rooms of consequence to us. I'm sure I don't need to explain how the Book of Belial works for you. You've probably seen it, oh, maybe ten times over the course of this so far. Hey, two monstros. I sometimes wonder if the game uh, spawns bosses as an immediate reaction to the last time you played through the game. So because I was so overpowered last time, uh, it's spawning much, much harder bosses this time. Like two, two champion monstros? It's pretty tough, uh, especially when I just walk into one. Uh, hey, and a possibility to make a deal with the devil. Uh, the devil, the band-aid, which gives us two hearts. Could actually make a deal with the devil at this point. Now, the shovel and the cat. I mean, you know, the cat actually might be worthwhile here, because I think... Well, let's just see what it does anyway. So, we've got nine lives now. Uh, and I think we'll go back to three spirit hearts every time we actually lose one of those lives. Maybe. It's also possible we might go to one regular heart, which would mean that we would likely just die. So I could have potentially just sealed my fate. But in any case, it'll be interesting. Oh, uh, why did I just let myself get killed there? Way too much damage. But what my hope is that nine lives is going to put me... Uh, whenever I die, it'll put me in the initial starting position where I had uh, three spirit hearts. I've never used nine lives as Blue Baby before. And in fact, I never use nine lives uh, in my runs just because I find it more harm than good most of the time. Although, I guess it's a little bit situation-dependent. Fucking human popcorns are a pain in the ass. Come on, get... This guy, if this guy drops a key, all is forgiven. But if not, I will dance on your grave. Jesus, this is a very accurate coffer. This is the guy who started the SARS epidemic. Come on. Get... get. Finally? Oh, a tarot card, hopefully. Hopefully... Wheel of Fortune, another slot machine. And a pill! What does the pill do? Uh, speed down. Well, that's not that bad. I didn't even use Book of Belial on the last boss of that. Can't remember. Maybe I did. Get out of here. Why can't you all just clump together? Whoa. Speak of the devil. There's the boss. Don't want to be there just yet. Room full of flies is annoying as shit. Especially with my speed down. Oh, god damn it. I'm going to be using that 9-up faster than I thought. So much for getting the achievement for not getting hit on the caves, right? 
Let's continue on to the right here, hopefully uncovering a key at some point. This is a shitty room, so why not use Book of Belial and hopefully expedite the processes that we're going to be dealing with here. A couple more shots should take out all... Oh, I thought those guys were going to stick together. Clearly, they have not been watching horror movies recently. Or they would have. Oh, da, da, da. Okay. There we go, and just one more to take out. That worked out surprisingly well, and there's our key. Which means I could just go fight the boss right away, but of course I want to make sure that I recharge my Book of Belial before that fight, because you never know what I'm going to get. Ah, uh, Book of Shadows, pretty good. Uh, but not as good as the Book of Belial. Obviously the Book of Shadow gives us a force field. If I got Poison Touch, then Book of Shadow works fantastically in conjunction with that. But without the Book of, uh, or without the Poison Touch, Book of Shadow is a great upgrade, but not as good as you can do with uh, just the Book of Belial. Oh, man. Okay. Just a couple more hits on these guys. And hopefully I don't get hit anymore myself, or it could actually end my run. I'm not sure how this is going to work, to be honest with you. Heart I can't use. Oh, lots of dick holes. Just take one out. God damn, I just got him down to the ooze. It's not enough. The one is really fast, man. They almost Pac-Man me there, but I got out of the situation, okay. No, I don't want to hit you, I want to hit your kid! Maybe that's why he's chasing after me. You ever think that maybe Isaac's the antagonist of the story? That, like, his mom is trying to protect all these things, and Isaac is trying to murder them? Nah, no, me neither, that doesn't really make sense, does it? Hey, the Emperor! That takes us directly to the boss. Uh, which would save us a walk here, at the very least, because I am probably going to die at the boss anyway. But I'll walk there anyway. Oh, nothing better to do with my time. One more room to go. We'll make sure to use the Book of Belial. Whoa! Yep, yeah, that was fast. Now let's see what this does for me. Oh, I start with one spirit heart. Okay, well, could be worse. Can I get out of here? Okay, there we go. Of course, put myself in a safe position and then almost immediately get hit. Yeah, murder your spawn. That's how you do it. Continue getting in this situation with Chubb here. Chubb tends to be pretty predictable. You know, having one spirit heart is not such a... It's not that much worse than having three. If I could just make a trade for something like the nail, I'd be in a fantastic position. If I found the Book of Revelations. On the whole, though, I'm not necessarily loving this potential loadout for, for Blue Baby. But I'm never loving the loadout for Blue Baby, essentially. It, it almost always comes down to a matter of luck, whether I get the nail, or a Book of Revelations, or the Bible, and I'm able to beat those bosses quickly. Hey, tears up and an extra spirit heart. That could be pretty valuable. So I could immediately skip to the boss here. I don't think I want to do that, though. Instead, we're going to trap these guys in a never-ending cycle of death and destruction, the likes of which we will never recover from, most likely. I got him whittled down pretty good here. I think my Isaac IQ has gotten pretty good. Uh, I'm no longer getting trapped by those guys. Or at least I'm not getting trapped as often as I used to get trapped. Try saying that five times fast. One of my least favorite layouts for a room. As I've mentioned probably like five or six hundred times. It's ten times worse with spikes on the screen as well. But my diagonal shooting has been pretty effective. Those guys only take four hits. Now that they've gotten a little bit of damage up. can't afford to miss or I'll be here for a hundred years. And just one more shot, hopefully the key drops here. Oh, I missed him. There we go. No key drop, but I do have the Book of Belial ready. Almost walked on some spikes, that would have been devastating. Lots of money that I can't really get to. I don't really have a need for it, to be honest with you. Oh, potentially shitty room. There's the boss, but I'm not going to use my Book of Belial right away, even though this room is difficult. It's because I want to make sure... Ah, I have it for the boss. I, I could rush immediately to the boss. But I want to go to the item room first. Going to the item room first is pretty important. Because I've got a relatively shitty layout here. Keys. Maybe there's a... Ooh, nothing good for me in there. Really just need a key drop. Maybe I'll get something out of the slot machine. Hey, two cents. I'm already doubling my money. No wonder people get addicted to gambling. Hey, at least I broke even. What do you mean you're taking my house? More money. I don't want your money. 
I want your keys. Give me all the keys you got in your slot machine. Let's see what this pill does. Bad gas, as always, right? Worthless. Oh, hey, a nickel. That's pretty good. That'll allow me to play this slot machine more. Rest assured, assured slot machine. I will end your life if you don't give me what you want. What I want. I'll give you what you want if you give me what I want. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, live bomb. You're getting snarky with me now, are you? I think I might be going insane. Thanks for the speed down pill. I'll make sure to make good use of that. And I'm out of money, which means your life is over. Hey, well, at least you did something useful giving me yet another cavalcade of bombs that I can't really use. Because I'm not even looking for the secret room. I'm only looking for goddamn keys. Maybe I can find the secret room here? No? Maybe I can find a key in this room? Look, oh, leapers. There should be like a, a fucking like warning siren that goes off whenever I go into a room like of leapers. Like, Hell's Bells should play. I don't know. Pyrotechnics show should happen. Can anyone make this happen, please? Shop. Can't go in there. Because I am key poor right now. But that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm still doing okay. But I would love some keys in order to secure my, my future. That's another speed down pill. What am I going to do with those? So they're going to turn me into Terry Shivo here. Oh, this is a shitty, shitty room. Let's put out this fire so that hopefully we can keep the leapers from going into it. Oh, sorry, the, the hoppers from going into it. That actually worked out better than expected. I will definitely use a bomb to get to this chest. In the hopes that it contains only keys. Hey, spirit art. That's also pretty good. Looks like we're going to be exploring this entire floor. Two cents. I guess I will go to the arcade. Because I can win a key in there. What? This guy looks like my key, to key guy. Alright, money. I absolutely have to win this one. Hey! Now I can play him twice. Okay, okay, this is the one. Come on. Oh, god damn. Okay, again, this is the one. Your life is over. As you know it, your bones will scatter to ash. Let's blow up the rest of the shit in the hopes that a key comes out. Come on. Your money is worthless to me. All I want is access. Well, actually... That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good selection of money that I got right there. Probably shouldn't have blown that guy up. Whoa! Another shitty room. Only this time some of the hoppers are already on fire. One of them got to the fire before I could do anything about him. Get out! Get! Oh, Jesus. I'm getting caught up in the crossfire here. Oh, yeah, I took him out. Thanks for the help that you can't use, that, that I can't use, that you dropped. Mixing up my pronouns today. Did I get a spirit heart or something in there? Absolutely not. Well, we'll just keep exploring, I guess. Hopefully Envy will give us a key. Otherwise, I'm off to fight the boss keyless. And we'll probably not get the item. Well, definitely not get the item unless I get some keys. Which will lead to a pretty bad situation later on. It's like, you know, it's, it's not going to hurt me now, but it's going to hurt me later. It's like when your parents are like, don't ever smoke weed. Because then ten years later, you're going to find yourself huffing paint thinner on the corner of Highway 79, wondering how I'm going to care for this baby. Is this a true story about my life, Mom? Because if so, I want some of the movie rights. Let's take out Envy here. Kind of, kind of got distracted by my personal childhood memories there. These guys... dead. There's a key in that... What? Honestly. I have gotten more speed down pills than keys. And I have an adequate amount of speed right now. I do not have speed to spare. So stop asking me. I'm gonna try to find a secret room. That's my last hope. Hey. Greed, don't even fuck with me. Bob's rod in the head. Piece of crap. Well, not a piece of crap, but not that useful compared to the Book of Belial. Especially considering I already have enough bombs, so I would never use Bob's piece of shit head as a bomb. But anyway, let's continue. 
go to the mob. No, I can't go to the mob trap room because there's a chest in there I can't even open. And of course we got Gertie. Of course, my absolute favorite. Yeah, spawn some more nubs. I'll get hit by your flies too. It'll be a grand old fucking time. Yeah, it's cool. I'm glad I didn't even use my Book of Belial because I was actually doing really poorly there. Maybe it won't be Gertie. It's Gertie. Let's immediately use Book of Belial and not make the same mistake we made last time. Hey, you know, if you're looking on the bright side, I do still have seven lives left. So, I mean, there is that. Although we run the risk of ending up in a situation where I just want it to end because I have no chance of success and I just have to throw myself into suicide like ten times in a row. Assuming I get three one ups. Right, well, Gertie's going down pretty quickly to the Book of Belial here. Much more quickly than she usually does during our boss fights, which is a plus. I'm not feeling too bad about this. Maybe I'll get a good upgrade here. Mom's panties, another range up. That's terrible. And from here, items I can't even use. So, wonder what happens if I even try. They won't let me. Okay. They're wise to my tricks. Depths part one. We're gonna scour around here, hopefully find a key. Could use that slot machine, but don't really want to right now. Well, actually, that, using that slot machine might be a great idea. It would just drop a single key for me, but apparently, you know, keys are a hot ticket item right now in Vegas. They're not giving those up. More likely to hit the jackpot for the one dollar bill. Circle strafing around these guys. These guys in a big open room is uh, basically my dream if I have to fight them. Because they go down relatively easily. They're pretty predictable. They can't get around you. Let's go one more. Excellent. Tarot card. Hanged man. Well, that's better than the emperor, but I will... Well, and that, that would have been immediately useful if I'd gotten out of the way just like a split second earlier. Unfortunately, sometimes I'm kind of an idiot, so I didn't do that. One down. Hey. I love that in the, uh, the, the user poll that I did last time, uh, these guys contended with leapers for being one of the worst enemies. Hey, there's a key. In fact, it seemed like the consensus was basically like, uh, leapers are bad. I'm going to use the Book of Belial on this one, actually. Leapers are bad. Um, flies are bad. I'm not sure if people were joking, but flies got a lot of votes as the worst enemy in the game. Uh, lasers got a lot of votes, and those uh, zombie type guys got a lot of votes. What do we have here? Pretty fly. Hey, that's pretty useful. A little bit more money. Don't really want to go to the shop just yet. I'd rather go to the item room. Although, if I could get a few more cents, then go to the shop. Uh, I'm definitely going to take damage here. Then the battery could be potentially useful for me. But for now, I'm, I, I, I don't have enough base stuff to really make it in this game. I'm about to lose another life here, but I did, found the, I did find the item room at least. That guy just switched directions to come fuck with me. I don't appreciate that. But hey, now they're all in a single line, so we're in good states. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good, good, good. With one champion brain left. Betty drops a key. Yep, of course. Uh, now that I don't need it as much. What do we have here? Hey, HP up. So I basically got that key for a spirit heart. And we'll try to come across some more money here. There was a cent in there that I didn't really want. Uh, but if we get some more money, we'll go down to the shop. Because remember, we don't have a whole lot of shops left to go. I don't want to spend any money just yet. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to blow up this slot machine and hopefully get a little bit of money out of it. It's going to cost us two bombs, so it better give us something. One cent and one bomb. Not exactly a fair trade. But it could be. Ah, uh, Leapers! Hell's Bills! Uh, clearly, it's been a long time since I listened to ACDC. Uh, you, you mean they don't sing like Creed? Uh, one more. That actually went pretty well. No way I'm doing a diagonal walk to get over those. Hey, well, let's do this old song and dance again. Luckily, I've got a shit ton of bombs. Hey, one cent, one bomb. I, they're nothing if not consistent. Brain room. Don't think this is going to be much of a problem, but could get hemmed in by the creep here. Oh, yeah, they, they got me, like, Tron light cycled over here in the corner. Oh, almost got tagged. And with only one guy left to go. More. Ah, oh, I just walked right on top of it like a dumb idiot. I gotta find the secret room. Hey, no, there's another penny. Now we can go back to the shop. And hopefully, in the shop, there is something useful. 
I am gonna fucking murder myself. I just walked over that lock and lost my key. For no fucking reason. Maybe we won't go to the shop. Maybe we'll continue exploring to try to find another key. And get murdered by these guys instead. Cause yeah, there's no way I'm getting out of that room. Fuck it, let's just go fight the boss. Sacrifice all of our remaining lives because I'm a dumbass who <laughs> made a terrible decision. Oh man, this is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to fight mom with only one heart. That's gonna be near impossible. Lyle should be able to take out. Oh shit, never mind. It might actually be tricky for me to take out war here. But maybe I'll do okay. Get away from me, you savage beast. This is good for me. That is not good for me. Hide behind the rocks, baby. Ah! <laughs> Such an idiot. And now Book of Belial's not even charged. This is the long road to my destruction. Don't, don't do it! You fucking dickhole. I can't even like place bombs to fuck with him. Because I'm pretty sure uh, I can't... She... Oh, come on. This is really bad. I have painted myself into a terrible corner here. This is what happens like 99% of the time when I play with the, uh, the cat that gives you 9 lives. But I've actually lasted a little bit longer than I usually do after, after I get that item. And we actually stand a chance. If we can get... Oh, come on! You know what? I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna go back up here, fight through those two rooms, and maybe I'll get the Book of Belial back. I'll probably lose health on those rooms, though. They're pretty damn tough. But I gotta try something unusual. Ugh. Murder him! Place bombs! Run like the wind! Swayze! Gotta be ghost like Swayze! Oh, man. Okay, keep go, keep it moving. Ah, fuck me. Let's try it one more time. Okay, it doesn't. Oh, Jesus Christ! Only two lives left. I think you guys are witnessing the end here, and all because dumbass me used that key in the wrong spot. Maybe I can use a bomb here. Ah, the secret room had to be there. It had to be there. Oh no. Maybe the secret room's here. Tell me something good. Nope. Well. Well, I don't have anything else to say. Except for well. Why is there a live bomb here? Hey, it kind of worked. That one didn't work at all. Well. I've gotten extraordinarily lucky to dodge those so far. Oh, and kind of unlucky, honestly, to not dodge that one. Where is he coming from? Okay, there we go. We gotta, if we get him down to half health, we got a chance. If the horse dies... Oh, come on! Alright, this is our last life. Um, wish me luck. It all came crashing down too quick. Look at all the spots on the floor. Well, that'll fucking do it. Oh, man, that was a pretty shitty run, actually, all things considered. But as always, thank you guys for watching Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I hope you had a good time. I had a good time in spite of my own personal failure. And you know what? It actually feels good to fail sometimes, as opposed to just 100% success. Even I can't handle that. But as always, I will see you guys next time with another Binding of Isaac video.